All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give an honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us all this truth through well. And Shalom to Yaakim out there listening and learning, increasing the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. All right, I wanted to go into uh, the book of Ezra, you know. <coughs> Just to uh, touch base, you know, Lord willing, through the spirit and power of you, how about But uh, <clears throat> this is Second Ezra, chapter six and verse forty-nine. It said, "Then didst thou ordain two living creatures, the one thou callest Enoch, and the other Leviathan." All right, talking about <clears throat> being upright, you know, the upright, which is the humans, you know, and the beasts. It says, and did separate the one from the other for the seventh part, namely, where the water was gathered together, might not hold them both. <coughs> you know, so the beasts <coughs> of the waters and then those that are upright, you know, Enoch, the humans. It says, unto Enoch thou gave us one part which was dried up on the third day, that he should dwell in the same part wherein are a thousand hills but unto leviathan thou gavest the seventh part namely the moist and has kept him to be de devoured of whom thou wilt and when it says upon the sixth thou gavest com commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts cattle and creeping things and after these adam also <clears throat> whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures of him came we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen okay so who are the, the chosen man you know the chosen are, are the Israelites you know the most how has only dealt with one group of individuals this is uh, Amos chapter 3 real quick you know to get straight to that point Amos 3 and 1 hear this word which Yahweh hath spoken against you O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? You know? <clears throat> and that's another reason why we catching, you know, so much hell, man. You know? But, hey, El Yasha Wamba made a video, <clears throat> you know, about three hours ago. <coughs> You know, he made a video about three hours ago talking about um, the trials that we're going to go through, man. You know, as men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh we're going to go through it. Even two thirds of Jake is going to go through it, man. All right. But the important thing is, you know, that we go through it in righteousness sake. This is a, uh, what was it? First Peter's, <clears throat> first Peter, go to it. <clears throat> Go back. <clears throat> this is uh, it's a lock in between here. <clears throat> in the book of John. Um, <coughs> all right but in the in the book of peter it, it tells you let me come back to this <coughs> in uh first peter's chapter three and verse uh what was it 20 verse 17 all right it tells you that you know it's better to suffer for righteousness sake than for evil doing you know so like a little behind pages going everywhere breaking and stuff uh this is a uh, first peter <clears throat> chapter 3 and verse 17 for it is better if the will of yahweh be so that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil doing 
you know? So we're all going to suffer, man. We're all going to go through it. There's a time of trouble that's coming. It's even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right? It's not only the time of the elect's trouble. It's not only the time of two-thirds of Israel's trouble. It's not only the time of, of uh, <laughs> the heathen's trouble. All right? Um, but it's a time of trouble that's coming. All right? Mainly going to be attacking the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, you see what's going on right now, <clears throat> or even in uh, 2020, all right, when this thing started happening, all right, and, and this, this thing, when they told you to take that one thing, you know, and then they said you got to take the other thing too, all right, the two doses, you know, what started happening is it started uh, attacking the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans, you know, they started attacking all of them, saying that these are the, 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 the people that carry it the most, all right? These are the people that, that have, these are the people that have the, the, the weakest uh, immune system that carry the virus that causes, you know, other people to get infected. <clears throat> you had a, uh, what's his name? Uh, Reverend uh, Run from Run DMC. I forgot his name. Um, but, uh, he even had a, a song all right, talking about, instead of his Adidas, talking about you taking the shot, you know? You had uh, this other dude, I forgot his name, you know, he said, vax that thing up. You know, you had this other dude saying, uh, damn, who was it? Uh, I can't remember exactly who it was, this other rapper, you know, talking about, you know, you gotta get vaccinated and, you know, in order to do this and that, you know? But that's just stuff that Esau Edom has been pushing, man. You know, and those are the beginning of troubles. You see, it hasn't fully gotten to, to the worst point where it can get to. But, <clears throat> you know, when it does, it's going to be a time of trouble, you know, and everybody's going to feel it. So it says, <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 6, <clears throat> verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest, Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen, you know, because the only people that have been promised any type of salvation, all right, coming from this time of trouble or coming from, you know, this, this time that's coming, all right, are the elect. The elect are the only ones that are going to receive that salvation. Everybody else is going to feel the burn. And by feel the burn, I mean the ICBMs, all right, that Russia and all these other countries are going to fire at the United States. You know why because of the whoredom that the united states has brought forth you know the indoctrination that they brought forth the wickedness that they spread upon the, upon the earth you know the pollution that they brought <coughs> so it says verse 55 um it says so like verse 55 all this have i spoken before thee o lord because thou hast made the world for our sakes you see, this is only made for the sake of the Israelites, man. They elect, you know, the righteous, you know, not just the Israelites, but really for the righteous, which happened to be the Israelites. It says, as for the other people, which thou also, that which also came from, came of Adam. All right. So we know all nations came from Adam. All right. Because <clears throat> out of Adam came Seth. All right. After Abel was killed by Cain. All right, out of Adam came Seth, and out of Seth <coughs> down the line um, came Abraham, you know, and then out of Abraham came um, Shem or Sham, uh, uh, Ham, and Japheth, okay, came the three which came from Abraham, which came from Adam, because the rest of the nations were done away with, okay, by the Delude, you know, by the waters. They were drowned and killed off, you know? So the nations had to be brought back through those three sons, which is out of Adam, you know? So all nations came from Adam. That doesn't mean that, you know, Adam and Eve had kids, you know? And those kid had kids, you know, incest and down the line, because then that wouldn't make sense with the law, statutes and commandments, right? That wouldn't make sense with the law, statutes and commandments. So that means that the most high allowed incest and then he didn't. When scriptures say he never changes. Okay? So it was, 
yeah, we all came out of Adam, but it was because the other nations were wiped out. All right. <clears throat> the other nations were wiped out. And, you know, out of Abraham came Shem or Sham, Ham and Japheth, you know, and out of them three came the rest of the nations. And out of Shem came, uh, <clears throat> um, not Abraham, so like I keep saying Abraham, but uh, Noah, all right, out of Noah. And then out of Shem came Abraham, you know, down the line, you had Eber, and then you had uh, Peleg, you know, so on and so forth, down to Abraham. Out of Abraham came Isaac. Out of Isaac came uh, Esau and Jacob. And from them two, it went on to Jacob. And out of Jacob came the patriarchs, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, which really were uh, two tribes were adopted, okay, into it. You know, you had two tribes that were adopted, which is uh, Ephraim, which stands for Joseph, and Manasseh, which takes over uh, <coughs> um, what was it, Dan? You know, because Dan was done away with, all right, because of the wickedness that they brought forth to Israel. You know, so Dan was done away with, and they rule as one of the tribes of Israel, uh, which are the twelve, 12 tribes of Israel, which is what we pre preach. All right, which starts with uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. <clears throat> Ephraim on down You know So it says uh, Verse 56 And for the other people Which also came of Adam all right, Which is everybody else outside of Israel It says thou hast said That they are nothing But be like unto spittle And has likened the abundance Of them unto a drop That falleth from a vessel Which is not even considered man If you're drinking water and you have a little bit of drop down, you just kind of look down and wipe it off, man. You know, you don't really care that that, you know, you're not on your knees trying to get that drop back, you know? So the Most High consider the other nations as nothing, all right? Nothing worth. But yet the Most High's creations were made perfect in the sense that the heathen have a job to do, okay? Have a job to do and they have to play out the prophecies under the, the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. <laughs> okay and so do the two-thirds of israel which is to be against the one-third all right the remnant and the remnant have a, a a place in prophecies as well meaning they have to go out and, and, and play their part and then when the uh one-third is one-third of israel's uh saved which is the elect all right they have to bring back the two-thirds of israel okay and the heathens part now is to be uh <clears throat> submissive to the israelites you know that's what the kingdom of heaven is man all right you're gonna have submissive heathen okay to the israelites and to what what the most high wants to do okay and you're gonna have two-thirds of israel now righteous because they came back to the seed line of the elect you know but the most high doesn't consider these other nations as anything worth okay in the sense of oh you're gonna do the will by going out to the highways and byways preach and prophesy you know which is actually only given to the elect you know and like like we always say at the one with the lord willing i'm part of that number you know but it says verse uh 57 and now O lord behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us you know, and that's what we see now, man. You you, you go to China, all right, you're not going to have the say-so, you know. You're not going to have the, oh, I'm an Israelite, I can do what I... You're not going to have that in China, man, you know. You you look at the so-called Jews, all right, the, 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 the ones that live in Israel now, okay. If they go to China, they're not going to... The Chinese aren't going to accept them and, and say, oh, man, come in, you know, uh, uh, <coughs> come in and... and uh, follow you know we'll follow you or you know we'll, we'll pay for uh you know we'll pay for 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 you to come here and, and eat with us or you know any of that man you know you're not gonna have the heathen do any of that stuff they're not gonna follow they're not gonna follow after them you know and the scriptures talk about the world rejoicing all right when israel steps in man you know and these heathen aren't gonna do that you know you take these uh um what are they called the uh, these uh, uh people over there that live in the, in the in the east you know these these uh 
Israelis, <clears throat> and if they come to America, the government's not gonna come in and have a red carpet out for them and, and say, come, you know, take one of my daughters. And you know, they're not gonna do any of that stuff, man, which in the kingdom of heaven, that's exactly what's gonna happen. You know, you don't see the paved gold cities in Israel, man. Why? Because that's not the kingdom of heaven. You know, the prophecy has not been fulfilled to where it says the Most High is going to be able to bring Israel back to their land. It has not been fulfilled. You know, that is still to come, which means the destruction of Edom is still to come, which means the judgment of the heathen is still to come, which means the judgment of two thirds of Israel is still to come. You know, and as times get, you know, harder and harder, what's going to happen is, you know, a lot of people are, um, uh, a lot of people are going to be, um, <coughs> you know, uh, masters of their of their own bellies. You know, serve. You know, they're going to serve their own bellies, man. You know, I got this police officer circulating over and over. You know, same person. I'm sure, he's going to ask some questions. You know, but uh, <coughs> it says Second uh, Ezra, chapter six and verse fifty-seven again. And now, O Lord, behold. Those heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us, you know? And point in case, you know what, what I'm seeing right now, man. You know, the heathen have been appointed over us for a reason, you know? And that reason hasn't been, you know, for us to, uh, for us to rebel, you know? The reason's not for us to, 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 to start, you know, a, a BLM movement or, or any of that nature, man, you know? Our lot... Is, is simply in the scriptures a lot is simply in in this truth you know that we carry <clears throat> this isn't about you know who who has the biggest muscles you know because we know who we serve man you know we serve the king the king of the universe okay and that king of the universe you know what he told us to do is go out and prophesy you see so everybody else is counted as nothing man the same thing in the book of hebrews let me get that. Hebrews chapter 12 <clears throat> and uh, verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, my son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. You know, so we're going to suffer certain things, man. We're going to go through certain things in this life. You know, sickness. <clears throat> we're going to go through uh, uh, hardships. Hardships. You know, misunderstandings is going to happen. You know, your woman acting like a demon is going to happen. You know, and it's been happening. You see, and it's increasing every single time, man. It increases and increases and it increases. You know, but that's just the time that we're living in. You know, so in, if, if anything, you should look at what you're going through. Like like the elder Yashawamba, uh, Yashawamba said from uh, from Dallas. You know, you look at what you're going through. You pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to explain to you, okay, or, or to show you, you know, what to do. You know? Because, yeah, it looks like it gets, you know, <clears throat> like it gets bad, you know, but but that's the, the flesh speaking, man. That's the, that's the flesh thinking for you, you know? Because when it comes down to it, you got to remember who you serve, the king of the universe, you know? The God of the universe, the one that knows everything that's going to happen, the one that has been telling you over and over what you need to do, man. <clears throat> you see, so it says, <clears throat> verse 6, Hebrews 12 and 6, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons, for what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? You know, so if you're going through stuff, man, you know, and, and it's been tough on you, then, hey, man, count it as a blessing. You know, and that's something important that, that even though we know it, okay, we still have to be reminded, man, because we're in the flesh at the end of the day, you know? And the flesh is weak, <clears throat> you know? The flesh will start thinking like, damn, man, I need to pay bills. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll bring you into a small little box, man. That's what the flesh does, you know? It'll bring you into a small little box. And what it'll tell you is, all right, you have no way out. You know, you have no way out. You know, you look to your left and there's a wall. 
you look to your right, there's a wall. In front and back, there's a wall. You know, you look below you, there's there's a, a barrier. You look above you and, and you know, there's, <clears throat> there's nothing that you can, you know, physically see that's gonna, you know, take you in and, 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 and help you, you know? But that's why faith speaks volumes, man. You know, I made a video the other day about, um, about mice, okay, the, the, um, what do they call them? Um, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, scientists in Harvard, okay, they took mice or, or, or rats and they put them in containers of water and the rats swam for about 15 minutes on average, you know, and they started sinking into the bottom. So they would pick them up let them sit for, you know, a couple seconds, you know, and after uh, they would let them sit for a little bit, they would put them back into those con containers, okay? Thinking, you know, the rats are exhausted. They're probably going to sink to the bottom. And that's how Esau Edom sees us, man. Oh, these rats are exhausted already. You know, they're probably going to sink any minute, hoping that we're going to be sunk, you know? <coughs> but what happened was that the rats ended up swimming for another 60 hours, man. Not minutes, but hours, you know? They ended up swimming for 60 hours after they were exhausted. Why? Because they had that faith that somebody was going to take them out, you know? And that's the faith that we carry. It's much more important than a physical one. We're not rats, okay? To where we have to physically be, you know, taken up by Yahweh the Most High saying, hey, I'm going to come back and I'm going to save you and then put, put us back down. You know, but the faith we carry is the faith of you don't have to show me, okay? You don't have to show me that, that you're there. You know? You don't have to show me that you love me, you know? You don't have to come down and say, you know, brother, brother Yashawamba or brother... Izar, you know, brother uh, Yaibataza. You know, the Most High doesn't have to come down and do any of that, man. Just look at the situation we're in, you know, out on the highways and byways. With the knowledge, the wisdom of salvation, man. You know, when we should have been as Sodom and Gomorrah, as scripture says, we should have been desolate, wasted. We should have been destroyed, killed off. You know? But here we are with the mercy that Yahweh Yahweh Shai has, man. You know, and it's a beautiful thing. He counted you as a son to go through this. You know, to suffer this suffer this suffering that we're going through, man. You know, because he chose you. So this is a uh, Tobit. <clears throat> you know, it's a lot. You know, this is. This is stuff that, you know, really gets to you, man. So let me get to it. Book of Tobit, if I can get it real quick. I'll come back to Hebrews. Tobit 13 and 1 Then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing And said blessed be Yahweh That liveth forever And blessed be his kingdom For he doth scourge and hath mercy You see so the Most High does scourge But he Also has mercy man You know he might bring a fire down on you You know and you're burning up But he'll also open up a path To water You know to cool you back down you know, he always leaves an escape, man. Whenever you see that movie Matrix, <clears throat> you know, I need to look up the name Morpheus. I never have. <clears throat> and I always say I'm going to and I always forget. But uh, when you look at Morpheus, all right, he calls Neo, which is one. All right. Morpheus calls Neo and tells him, you know, I I'll guide you. You know, so he tells him, turn right. All right. Keep going down the down the path. Turn left. All right. There's going to be a door. Second door to your right. All right, and it's gonna be unlocked. And then he goes through that door. 
you know, and he says, jump in through, through this, go through here, you know, maneuvering and showing him the way. And that's how Yahab Hashem Yahweshai is showing us through the spirit, man. You know, through the spirit, we're going through tough things and, you know, we're going to pray about it, you know, fast, you know, uh, 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 speak to Yahab Hashem Yahweshai, seek counsel on it, you know, and the Most High will show you a sign and then you follow it, man, you know. He'll show you a sign or he'll put it in your spirit like you're super heavy. Man, I haven't made a video. Put it in your spirit and you're real heavy and you snap out of whatever, you know, enchantment you're in and you make a video and then you make another video. Then you make another video, you know, and, and the most high work with you, man. You know, but the main thing is being humble and, and staying true to you. How about Shimia was shy? You know, so this is Tobit 13 and 2 again. For he doth scourge and hath mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. You see, he leads you down to death and then he brings you up again. You know, <clears throat> neither is there any that can avoid his hand. You see, confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. You know, so it's our job to confess Yahabashim Yahweshai, man. You know, that's our job, man, to confess. This is uh, back in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he scattereth, or he chasteneth, and the Lord loveth he, uh, Salakia, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, all right, so we have to endure unto the end, you know, uh, let faith work her patience, uh, uh, let patience work her perfect works, you know, it's that faith you carry, man. Let it continue, let it burn, you know. Let it work its work. And at the end, it'll save you. It says, um, For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers. All right, so that's what we read about the sons of Adam. All right, we all come from Adam. All right, but the Most High saved the earth for us. You know, Lord willing, I'm part of that number, but it's for us, for the elect. It says, But if ye be without chastisement, Whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons. You know, so the Most High is disowning those that don't want to do His will. Or, or really His work, I should say. Not His will, because everybody does His will. You know, and we read that in the book of Romans. You know, wherefore doth He find fault? Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou to reply against the Most High? You know? So it says, you know, I had this, this dude tell me once, which was a, a, a sibling of mine. You know, and I call him dude because of what he said. So, uh, you know, I tried teaching him a little bit, you know, just questions that were asked. And he said, um, you know, how do you know if you can be saved or not? And I was like, you don't. You don't know, man. All right. But part of the glory. All right. Part of the uh, part of the uh, 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 part of the job is not knowing. You know, we don't know if we're going to be saved or not, man. We don't know if the most high is going to say, you know what? You actually were wicked the whole time. You know, we were just blinded to it, you know, to an extent or whatever the case is, man, you know, but you don't really know, you know, we know, we, we, we know, but you don't really know, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, and he was like, well, what's the point? And I was like, what do you mean? What's the point? He was like, what's the point of, of, of following after him? If at the end of the day, he already has his elect. And that right there shows me, well, maybe you're not part of the elect, man. You know, if your mindset already is, oh, shit, I'm going to give up before I start because they already chose who they wanted. You know, but but who the fuck are you? All right. To know. All right. Oh, he, he's not going to accept me. You know, you're a creation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. How the hell do you know what the Most High thinks? You know, that's why there's a, a scripture. Uh, where was it? I believe it was in the book of. Actually, it might have been in. In the book of Hosea, you know, let me see if I'm done with this one. I'll come back to that one. <clears throat> Might have been in the book of Hosea. You know, but uh, <coughs> let me get it real quick so I don't I don't butcher it. You know, or bring anything false. <clears throat>
It says Who knows? I think it was this one. <coughs> so like I know it's here somewhere. Uh, let's return to your home from here. Let me get this one, uh Hosea chapter six and one. Come and let us return unto Yahweh, for he hath torn, he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will we revive will he revive us, and on the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know if we follow unto know Yahweh, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. You know? So the most high is gonna uh <clears throat> is gonna revive us, man, and he's reviving us right now according to uh what is that? Ezekiel 37. You know? On Ezekiel 37, it tells you that uh uh Yahweh is raising us up, man. You know, bringing us up out of that that death state that we were in. You know, that hellish state. You know, in a state of death, man. Because all we wanted was, was to do things of the world. All we wanted was death. You know, we wondered after it. You know, we we uh uh, uh we wondered after death and when we strive for it, man. You know, for a long time, that's the mindset we were set in. So a lot of the times, you know, you would feel that depression and you would feel that, you know, man, I need it. You know, I want to do something with my life. You know, you're like, maybe it's going to the gym and you go to the gym for a little bit and you're OK. And then you're like, that's not it. You know, maybe maybe it's taking up a sport, you know, whether it's basketball or soccer and you do it for a little bit and. You're like, man, I really love this sport, but that's not it. You know, and you, you constantly feel that void inside of you, man. So eventually you, the most high reached out to you and said, come, this is the way. You know, and we turned back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that's what it was. That void that, that we felt inside of us was just missing Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, so the most high is saying, I'm going to heal you. And now that we turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we're turning to his ways okay then we feel that 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 healing you know Yahweh Shai is a physician right so he's healing us by this word by the actions that we're taking into this truth you see this is a line who will know you know there's one I'm looking for man it says uh, who will know if he will have mercy and I know it's in Hosea. Hell of the God, David the King, and shall feel you have one his goodness in the latter days. Con, this is another one, you know, which describes us. This is Hosea chapter 3 and 5. Afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek Yahweh their power, and David their king, and shall fear Yahweh and his goodness in the latter days. You know, which latter means end. You know, and that's happening right now. Um... Let me see if I could find that one. You know, I know it's on here. Because Hosea was speaking to the northern kingdom. <clears throat> you will know if he will have mercy. You know, there's one that says, who will know? You know, if he will have mercy upon Israel. Um, two furrows. I will execute fierceness with my anger. I will not return to destroy Ephraim, for I am Yahweh, and not man, the Holy One of the midst of thee, and I will not enter into the city. They shall walk after Yahweh. They shall turn the west. They shall tremble at the bird of Egypt, though of Assyria. Ephraim confessing me about with lies in the house of Israel, with the seed in Judah, yet ruled with the Most High, and is faithful with the saints. Salak, Salak. I'm trying to find it. 
<clears throat> and rebel against the most high. God, I can't find it. It's a lock. You know? But it says, turn unto Yahweh. Who will know? Khan. Ah, it's a lock. It was in Joel 2. You know, and I always bring this one out. Joel 2 and 12. Let me start at 12. It says, therefore also now, say if Yahweh will turn you even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments, and turn unto Yahweh your power, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto Yahweh your power? You know, so who knows, man? You don't really know if you're, oh man, you know, you're counting yourself unworthy before you even start the 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 uh the uh the walk you know but scriptures does they do say all right scripture does says what you have to you know sit down and measure the cost you know you sit down and, and you measure how much you have to build this house do you have enough do you feel like you have enough faith to build this house if you feel weak like nah man i don't think you know i don't think i could do that you know then yeah, at least you're being honest man you know but but giving up just because you know, the Most High has an elect already and saying, oh, man, you know, knowing your own wickedness. Hey, the, the uh, King David said it, man. You know, don't let your sins weigh you down. You know, we're all sinners, you know. So do you want to be judged by the law, which is death? Because none of us are perfect. Or do you want to be judged by mercifulness? Okay. By the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah that he gave to David. You know, David should have been a dead man, you know, as he walked. But the Most High showed him mercy, you know, because of, of the faith he carried, you know, because of the humbleness he carried. You see? So it says, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, it's a lot. <clears throat> chapter, uh, come on, chapter 6 and verse. Uh, 57 and now O lord behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us you know and that also goes into the book of uh isaiah you know because these heathen have been put over us you know but they polluted us man they didn't judge over us righteously you know if the most high gave you a shot and said okay you're gonna have the the dominion of the earth you know, and you, you turn it into a wicked thing, you know, why do you think you're going to be destroyed, man? You know? You know, you got two-thirds of Israel complaining, oh, you know, Esau, Edom can make it, and, and this, this, and the, this, that, and the third, you know? But yet you look at how they rule as a people, and it makes sense why the Most High is going to take them out, man. Come on, you expect these people to rule with us in the kingdom of heaven? You know? In the kingdom of heaven, Esau, Edom, the one that be, you know, effing the uh, the dogs and the pigs and, you know, incest and, and doing all manner of wickedness, bringing it into the earth and, and, and portraying it as something that's still holy and something that should be acceptable, like transgenderism, you know, or transhumanism. You expect this man... That brought this much wickedness to the earth to be in rulership in the kingdom of heaven too you know jake loves oppression man you know and that, that's the fact you see so how can you expect these people that have brought so much wickedness over the earth to rule in the kingdom of heaven it's not going to happen okay and that's why the most high is going to cut them off you see so this is uh isaiah <clears throat> isaiah 47 it's a lot, a little bit too, too ahead. But not enough. It was 45, so lock. 45, maybe it was 37. It's pretty sure it's 50. Oh, yeah, there's 47 to luck. Isaiah 47 and verse 3 Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will, and I will not meet thee as a man. 
as for our Redeemer, Yahweh of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and uh, thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. And when you go into uh, Psalms 137, all right, it talks about the daughter of the of, of Babylon being Esau Edom. Okay? And Esau Edom is a self proclaimed white man. You see? So it says, uh, verse 6, and here's a point I was wroth with my people, I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient, has thou very heavily laid the yoke. You see, so how do you expect this man to rule in the kingdom of heaven with us? All right, when he's been nothing but a, a damn demon, man. You know, when he's brought nothing but, 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 you know, harsh uh, draconian laws. You know, when you go into that word draconian laws, it means harsh laws, man. You know, it's talking about harsh law, laws. You see? The man that said you're not even worth a human. You know, the man that uh, had number one lynchings of the so-called Negroes in the United States and the number two lynchings of so-called Mexicans, man. You know, so-called Latinos. That man... The one that, you know, shoots you and guns you up in the streets. The one that calls the cops on you because you're having a barbecue in your backyard. That man, you know, the one that constantly wants to fight you. The one that constantly accuses you. That man, you think that man is your brother in the kingdom of heaven? You think he's going to uh, sing Kumbaya with you? Hell no, man. This dude is nothing but a demon. And in the kingdom of heaven... He's gonna be doing this and giving you puppy eyes. Please just, 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 just let me chill for a little bit. This man has nothing but soft words, man. But he, he has war in his heart, you know. And that word heart is lob in the Hebrew, which means mind. All he thinks about is war, man. You see, Christopher Columbus, when he came over here and they started raping the native women. This demon, what he wrote down is, these women were trained. To be hoes. To be slaves. These men look like they would make great slaves. That was his first fucking thought, man. You know, and you expect us to be okay and say, All right, Esau, come here. You know, you can rule with us. Hell no, man. You know, a true righteous man is not going to look at this dude and say, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's going to be ruling the kingdom of heaven. Hell no, man. You know? And that's why the people are so confused, man, because they haven't turned fully to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, they just came to the knowledge like Tiffany Haddish or Tiffany Haddish, you know, like a, a Kevin Hart, like a J. Cole, you know, like these famous people, man. They, they just hear about it. They think it's cool. They think it's maybe true. Okay, but they don't fully turn to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They just turn to the fact, oh, wow, that's cool. My ancestors were this. Oh, that's cool. This is what used to happen with our people. Oh, cool. That's what we were. And that's what we are. You know, but they don't turn to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and say, Salaki Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You know, I've been wicked. You know, I've been, I've been mischievous. You know, I need to, you know, turn my ways into righteousness. Help me seek the path of a righteous man. They don't do that. You know? They just look at, oh, wow, I was an Israelite. And Tiffany Haddish knows she's an Israelite. Kevin Hart knows he's an Israelite. You have uh, uh, this dude, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon knows he's an Israelite. You know? But what are they doing with that, man? They're doing nothing. You know, they're starting little podcasts and, you know, try to make some money out of, out of uh, commercialize the truth. They have no understanding, man. That's why scriptures say you do err. Not knowing the scripture, Salakia got something right here on my screen. But uh, going back to um, Tobit 13 <clears throat> and verse 2 again. For he doth scourge and hath mercy. You see, so he has mercy for us. He doesn't have mercy for Esau. It's for us. The mercy comes to us, you know. And the mercy really is going to cover all Israel. Okay, but first... 
it's going to cover one third of Israel, the remnant. After it covers the remnant, okay, then from the remnant is going to come the rest of Israel. That's why Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 27, I believe, says, And saviors shall come up out of Mount Zion. Why? Because we're going to save the nation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, okay, and through our loins to bring back the nation. You know, let me get that. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 21. And Savior shall come up out of Mount Zion. And that word Zion is, is a monument. Okay? To Zion is a monument. Okay? And that monument are things that people look at, okay, in remembrance. People look at for guidance. You know? It says, <clears throat> On Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. You see? So these, these elect, all right, are going to be uh, uh, set as monuments, you know? Like you have monuments of Christopher Columbus. You have the monument of George Washington, the monument of Abraham Lincoln that people look up to and they all go visit. And wow, this was a great man. The man that discovered America, the man that, you know, led America, you know, the righteous man that should have gone twice, but... You know, should have gone three times, but said, we only go twice. <laughs> you know? You know? The elect are going to be those monuments, man. The monuments that people go to for guidance. You know? Those monuments that are going to set up the, 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 uh, uh, the pillars across the universe. You know? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So it says... Tobit 13 and verse uh, 2, continuing on, he leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again, neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. There declare his greatness and extol him before all the living, for he is our Lord and he is the power, Yahweh our Father, forever. And he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom he hath scattered us. You know, so how hard is it to, to understand that the Most High scattered us across all nations so we're not all going to be looking like Wesley Snipes. We're not going to look like Samuel L. Jackson, man. You know? But yet we're Israelites. If we're Israelites, we're Israelites. That's it. If we're going out to the highways and byways, we're Israelites whether we fall out or don't. You know, but you do have agents, you know, you, you, don't, you don't really even have Edomites that say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to go out to the highways and byways and I'm going to, you know, proclaim the truth of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and pray to the names. You don't have that. You know, even if you put it on your 12 tribe chart, you're not going to have that, man. But you will have light skinned brothers, all right, or pale skinned brothers that are going to come into this truth and they're going to believe. And they're going to go out and they're going to do what they need to do, man. You know, I believe there, there's a brother in, in Columbus, you know, Ohio. Uh, there's a brother in a, a um, you know, a light, light, uh, lighter skinned brother in, in California, I believe. You know, you got brothers everywhere, man. And they look like the rest of the nations, you know, but we believe Bruce Lee was an Israelite. You know, we know Cornelius was an Israelite. And Cornelius may not have looked like Wesley Snipes, too. You know? He may not have looked like, uh, 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 what's his name? Um, Kendrick Lamar or Dr. Dre, you know, dark, darker skin. You know? He may not have looked like them. He may have looked like more of a, uh, uh, damn, what's this basketball name, player's name? Uh, Griffin. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name, but his, his name is Griffin. All right? He might, he might have looked like him, you know, a, a, a pale skin, freckled, you know, uh, almost orange haired Jake, you know, he may have looked like that, man. You, you never know, you know, what Cornelius actually looked like, you see? So you don't really know, you know, who's an Israelite, but the thing is, it belongs to them, you know, whether you know who they are, or whether you don't, you know, same thing when, with this truth, whether you know who has the truth. Or whether you don't know who has the truth, the truth still remains. 
you know it's like walking in front of the streets while cars are coming whether you can see the cars coming or not you're gonna get hit regardless man you know so this is uh tobit 13 and verse 3 confessing before the gentiles ye children of israel for he has scattered us among them salak let me jump down to verse 6 it says if you turn to him with your whole heart and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him then will he turn unto you and will not hide his face from you therefore see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth and praise Yahweh of might and extol the everlasting king in the land of my captivity do i praise him and declare his might and majesty to a sinful nation which is babylon the great O ye sinners turn and do justice before him who can tell oh, he, here was the other one who can tell if we will accept you and have mercy on you you see so you don't really know man you know like i said in joel chapter 2 and verse uh 12 13 uh 14 all right and like i said here in uh second uh second S, uh, i mean the book of tobit who will know who will know man you know who will really know if the most high is going to turn to you and say i accept you and take you in as a son and then he's going to put you through the fire all right uh i just told the brother earlier it's called panning when you go out to the uh to uh to mine for gold or whatever the case is you put it in a pan with water and you kind of uh, screen it all right by panning you know you put it in, in a series of pans to purify and then you get to the to the ore you know you get to the the gold ore okay and then when you get that golden ore what you do is you put it through the fire okay to melt off the rock you know or to 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 uh, 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 scrape off the rock and then what you have is the purified gold you know or to even melt the gold down you know into an ingot or to whatever the case is you know but you have to put in some trials man you don't just go out to 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 california you know out into the mountains or wherever the case is and you you go to the ground and you pick up a, a purified gold uh, a bar you know it, it just doesn't happen that way man there's a process and in that process we're gonna you know, you know we're gonna we're gonna have to suffer through a few screenings you know we're gonna have to fight you know fight through the fire you know it's just part of being in this truth you know and it's something that we've always said but it's a lot more different when you go through it especially in the times that are coming you know in those times that are coming jacob's trouble which is right around the corner all right what you're gonna see is a lot of distancing a lot of hate you know this this virus that's going on it's going to get worse okay this thing with the shelves having a lot less food is going to get worse you know and that's just stuff that the most high has been showing us for some time we've been saying this for years you know and now that it's happening a lot of people are starting to panic people are getting crazy you know fear is among them and that's what esau edom is man esau edom is a fear monger you know he, he'll go in infiltrate bring fear and then what do you have division you know but like the uh, uh the elites the elites of 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 esau you know the rothschild the rockefellers what they say is out of chaos comes order out of chaos comes order you know for the uh novus ordo seclorum you know which is new world uh order of the ages you know or the new order of the ages that's what they're trying to bring forth man you know so they have no repentance but we do you know and that that repentance that we have is simply turning to you how about shimia was shy because you don't know you know did you mess up yeah okay did you fall down yeah are you getting up yeah you know are you praising you how about shimia was shy on your on your way back up yeah you never know what if the most high says you know what I knew you make it through. You know, and that was that. That's all that was. So when the kingdom comes and we get saved and we look back and we're like, damn, man, I'm so glad I didn't let go. You know, because you just don't know, man. I just made a video the other day also talking about the mustard seed, man. A little bit of faith goes a long way, right? A little bit of faith goes a long way. Going back to those rats, you know, they had a little bit of faith and they were able to hang on for 60 hours, man. You know, 
60 hours. That's incredible. I could barely swim, you know? I could barely swim. You see, but with the faith you carry, you're untouchable, man. In the sense of your soul is preserved forever, you know? So it says, uh, let me read that last part again. Tobit 13 and verse uh, 6 going down, it says, Oh, ye sinners, turn and do justice before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? You know, you don't really know the, the, the power of the most high, man. You can't really comprehend. Your tiny little minds cannot comprehend the vast knowledge and power of the most high. Okay. You know, talk about worldly things, you know, going back a couple years, you know, looking at my vehicle, going back a couple years, I was going out to camp at the brother, uh, Yaibataza out there in San Angelo. And as I was driving out there, it was raining, it was pouring real hard, man. You know, and I was like, man, I got to do what I got to do. You know, same like other brothers, man. You know, so I'm driving out there and right as I'm about, I'm about to exit West Texas. All right. What happens is. I, I go up about this puddle, you know, and, and, and my vehicle had the air filter down, you know, pretty low by the tire. And I go above this puddle, didn't realize how steep it was, you know, so my car goes down quite a bit and I see the, the water rising pretty high, man. You know, and I turn around and as I'm driving off, the car starts, you know, jerking and kind of, you know, stuttering and, and, and kind of, uh, 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 what's that word? Um, um, you know, like like not able to breathe because that's what an air filter does. It, it helps the car breathe, right? So it's not breathing correctly, like it's choking on water. And you know, I try to try to turn, and the car completely dies out on me. All right, which if anybody knows, when you get water into the engine, it it, it does uh, something called uh, hydro lock. You know, because water is not supposed to be inside your engine; it's supposed to be oil. You know, you don't put oil, you don't put water in the engine, all right, because it hydro locks. So the car hydro locks, and I'm moving to the side, and then I have you know this this moment of, of panic, slight panic, and I'm like, you know what? Let them let the will of the Most High be so. Whether He wants me to 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 not go today for whatever reason, you know, maybe I could die out on the on, on the street. I don't know, you know. So let the the will of the Most High be so. You know, I'm sitting there for, for about maybe two good minutes, you know, when somebody parks behind me and says, hey, do you need help? And I'm like, no, man, I'm good. And he takes off. Then another person parks behind me, you know, one after another, um, after sitting there for two minutes, you know, and somebody else pulls up. Hey, you need help? No, man, I'm good. Thank you. And then the next guy pulls up and he says, hey, man, I'm going to push you to the side. All right. That way you're not in the way of traffic, you know. So instead of accepting help. You know, the Most High sent the third one to kind of give me an order. You know, I'm going to push you to the side so you don't, you know, see any any uh, traffic or so nobody hits you or anything. So you're OK. So you're safe. And I'm like, all right, bet that's a pretty good idea. You know, so I told him, yeah, he hits the back bumper, pushes me to the side. OK. And after he pushes me to the side, he pulls over next to me and says, pop the hood. I'm like, oh shit, all right, so I pop the hood. You know, he goes in there, gets his tools out, starts taking apart the the, the cold air intake, all right, which is a, a large piece for the air filter that goes into the uh, intake manifold and the throttle body, all right, to push into the engine. So he takes it all apart, man, and once he takes it all apart, you know, he starts putting stuff in there, end of the story, this man ended up saving up my car, all right, by, by doing some mechanic work that I, I had no idea how to do, all right. And then my car is still running to this day, man. You know, and it was all thanks to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And after that day, after he fixed it, I went out to the highways and byways. All right. Out there in, in, in West Texas. You know, so the most high will always have a plan for you, man. It's not always about, you know, everything's lollipops and rainbows, you know. And, and I learned that, man, after going through this, this, this path of ours, you know, and brothers learned it. And we make videos about it all the time. And like I said, Elder, uh, the elder Yasha Wamba made a video about it, you know, maybe like four hours ago, you know, and that that video really inspired and motiv motivated me to to go come out here to the highways and byways, and and and, and present that same case.
you know because it's very true you know it's a beautiful beautiful video so it says uh second ezra chapter 6 and verse uh 57 again and now O lord behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to destroy us and there's another one there's another one let me get it isaiah <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 3 and um, let me start off at the top Isaiah 3 and 1 for behold Yahweh or uh, for behold the Lord Yahweh of hosts doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water the mighty man and the man of war and the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient the captivity of 50 <clears throat> and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning art art artificer and the eloquent orator and i will give children to be their princes and babes shall rule over them you know and that's what we have man we have nothing but a bunch of babes ruling over us you know a bunch of children and you guys want these children all right these babes not even children babes you guys want these babes to rule over us in the kingdom of heaven too you know it's going to be babylon 2.0 or 3.0 you know But the Most High is not having it that way, man. That's why. <coughs> that's why in, in the book of uh, uh, what was it? I believe it was Ezekiel, either 30, 30 and thirty-two. Let me see if I can get it. It's a lock. Ezekiel 20 and 32. Let me get that real quick. You know, because Israel is always one of the heathen above the Holy One of Israel, which is another one in Isaiah 30 and 9. You know, they don't want the Holy One of Israel, but they want the wicked of the world. You know, so Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel 20. Get to it real quick. <coughs> Just to prove a point. Uh, Ezekiel 20 and 32 and that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all did you say we will be as the heathen as the families of the countries to serve wood and stone and that's what israel wants man oh no esau can make it why because you want to stay in the same mindset that you're in babylon the great you know you want to stay in that same mindset of there is no god you know nothing happens if i if i do this wicked thing nothing's going to happen if i do this other wicked thing there's no consequence to me being this way. There's no consequence to me following after folly. You know, and that's what's wrong with, with Israel, man. They're following after folly and they don't think there's a consequence to it. But coming into this truth, we know that there's consequences. You know, we know there's responsibilities and that's what they're running away from. You know, they're running away from those responsibilities that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has given us. It says, Verse 58, 2nd Ezra 6 and 58, but we, thy people, whom thou hast called by thy firstborn, the only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. You know, so you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are sons of the living power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? So it says, you know, I said it out loud for, for Jake to hear, but out there smoking a a roach you know our people have fallen man we fall into a low state you know and that's why you see you don't see the apostles you know talking to every single jake that's walking by hey brother you're an israelite hey brother you're an israelite hey brother you're an israelite you know why because the spirit is going to work regardless 
you know and that's what you have a lot of mindless people all right on the on the apostles comment boards you know lighting up the comment boards saying negative shit you know oh you guys don't even you know you guys don't even reach out and call out to the brothers passing by why should we you know is this thing of ours you know is this thing of ours of ours no this thing of ours is given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. the same thing with the spirit we don't give out the spirit. Hey, brother, I'm going to give you the spirit so you can come into this truth. We don't do that. That's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh It tells you in the book of Corinthians. You know, I may have planted, the brothers may have watered, but the Most High gives you the increase. It's not on us to be Israelites. You know, it's not on us to, to, to increase somebody else. It's all up to the Most High, man. You know? So sometimes we might do a call out or something like that to get the attention, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, man. There's no, no reason to pressure, all right? No reason to press. So it says, verse 59, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? You know? And like it says in the beginning of 2 Ezra 6, it says, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9 for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it you see so hey if the if, if the world is supposed to be given to us why aren't we ruling in this kingdom okay because the kingdom has not yet came the kingdom has not yet come you know but when it does there's going to be hellfire that's going to be rained you know tribulation that's going to be uh happened you know <laughs> the people are going to be shocked man all right whenever it happens the people are going to be shocked they're not going to know which way to look which way to go you know i brought this out the other day but uh i'll bring it out again <clears throat> amos chapter 5 and 18 woe unto you to desire the day of yahweh to what end is it to you the day of yahweh is darkness and not light you know because that darkness is 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 the end of the world that's it darkness Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread on the mountains, a great people and a strong. There have never been the like. There have never ever. There have never. They have not been ever the like. Um, so like, ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. You know? So this stuff that's coming, man, is dark. Darkness. It is even a day of darkness and gloominess. You know? There's another one. Uh, is there war in the, in the... Is there a trumpet in the city and the people not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh have not done it you know so all these things that are coming man is is, is a manner of, of of darkness that people are going to be afraid of you know so with that I hope that was edifying with that I want to give all honor glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash Shalom